Long day lay me low Hello everybody, Jason Bascom here, Unhinged Entertainment, co-founder of Unhinged Entertainment, co-creator of Frog G, and creator of Absolute, uh, doing another statue, doing another statue, um, I hope you guys like, like the last one, uh, I'm enjoying doing these, I like doing these, this one is, a uh, one of the newer ones that I bought, uh, it's, it's, yeah, it's one of the newer ones I got, I've been wanting it for a while actually, and I saw it online, I never pulled the trigger on it, and, it ended up going away. Like, you couldn't get it anymore. I was like, unavailable. And I'm like, oh, no. Um, but then uh, a friend had given me uh, some, like, an Amazon gift card and a little bit more money that I had. I was able to like, pick it up. It wasn't overly, you know, it didn't increase in price too much. But uh, it was one that I really wanted. And I was kind of bummed out I didn't get it. I, I get that. Not the... Sometimes I get the fear of missing out, but uh, that would have, should have, could have thing. Um, there's a few that I d didn't pull the trigger on that I do regret, but uh, this one I'm happy I got to snag it up. And uh, yeah, so uh, let's uh, we're gonna flip the camera. There we go, and uh, we're gonna turn on some lights. As you can see already, what it is. Uh, here we go, brightness and the brightness. I suppose I can always edit that, so that way it's a uh, you don't have to see the. You know the anyway uh yeah this is the dark knight returns uh armor uh by frank miller it's a great frank miller uh dark knight one of my favorite series and uh i do have the um it's not this one's a, the black and white um as you can see by the base this is the you know first edition but this is the black and white uh edition so uh, there is a um the cover to Dark Knight number two, I believe. Uh, I, Frank is going to kill me for getting that wrong. But uh, I have a statue of that too that I'll showcase. And uh, it's in color though. But uh, uh, by DC Collectibles. And he's a tall guy. I could probably take away some of these comics. But uh, uh, to showcase him a little more. But let's move him a little closer to the camera. So he doesn't. There we go. You can see his uh, helmet there. You can get that in there. Like, hopefully. Oh I don't know if the light's really hitting him too well. More shadow than anything. He's loose in the base. This is the first time I ever fully, really assembled him. Uh, I'm sure that helped a little bit. Uh, yeah, let's move it back. But, uh... Let's turn this one. Is that light off? That light's off. I wonder why. There we go. There you go. Um, I thought I turned that light on. Uh, so yes, yeah, so there you go. I'm sorry about that. I'm keeping it in, by the way. Uh, I don't really edit these too much. I should. I should. I edit them a little bit sometimes. Yeah, look at that helmet. Great detail in there. I really captured Frank's style. You know, that chonkiness. Uh, a little bit, like that said, that Klaus Jansen piece, he was ch had a chonky one too. Uh, you know, great detail in here. Uh, and this is uh, numbered as well. This is one of the higher numbers. I think it's like 1,600 and some, or 800 or something like that. But, uh, you know, sometimes you get lucky. Sometimes you get... Well, I have one, I think, that's a number seven, uh, which is really cool. But, and, and yeah, you can, like, you know, bat symbol. Not there. <laughs> Frank hated the yellow bat symbol. I uh, hated the look of it. But, uh, yeah, and you got his belts up in here. You got this, those big big boots look at those look at boots Let's see if I can. this is the first like I said first time I assembled him he's very loose in that base yeah so yeah you know he's still got his cape of course yeah but look at that you know the detail the folds uh even the little ribbits here from where he got his got his gun there we go. There we go. Oh, I'll get it. Okay. His, his vacuum cleaner gun. Yeah, really cool piece. Uh, like I said, I uh, I didn't get it at first, and it took me a little bit to acquire it. But uh, a little bit of time, you know, that vest in there. So let me set him back here. He's a um. He's kind of a tall guy. Yeah. So 
really cool. Uh, Frank Miller, Dark, Dark Knight Returns, is obviously Frank Miller's a, a, an influence. I don't know if people saw it in Absolute or not, but um, yeah, especially, especially the Sin City stuff was a uh, hit me pretty good. Uh, storytelling and, and style, you know. But uh, you know, it, Dark Knight Returns it was uh, changed a lot in comics, you know. And uh, it, it, I know that some people kind of attribute it to the, you know, and it is like that in the Watchmen, the um, the darker aspects, the grimmier things, and you know, not everything should be that. And I agree, but but it it, it fit for these things, these these titles. I know I have a friend that hates Frank Miller. <laughs> He hates Dark Knight, but uh, you know we don't all have to agree. That's the great thing about about being friends. You know, you 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 can have differences of opinions and still like one another because you still like you have common goals. You still like things that you know, like each other's personalities. But yeah, this is cool. Really liked it. I'm trying to get some more in there. You know, simple one. Like you can hear him clanking around in there. I don't, that some of the pegs are not easy to go in careful so yeah really really cool statue um you you can still get it i believe um i don't know if, how pricey it is anymore though um let me turn these off before i flip the camera around and uh blind everybody blinded by the light rubbed up like a douche in the middle of the night all right lights are off i kind of still see it i guess maybe i don't really need the lights on i don't know sometimes you do sometimes you don't all right so yeah so that's the uh batman frank miller dark Knight returns armor one uh you can see the um the other one way back there uh i'll showcase that one like i said this is the first time i've assembled it i, not, I think i took it out of the box one other time to look at it um but uh it's the first time me assembling it but yeah um you know, if you like this content you know hey let me know talk about the statues cool you know or if you don't rather uh, i did um let me showcase a drawing. I was kind of, you know, I was drawing this while listening to Ethan. Uh, well, drawing more of this while listening to Ethan, you know, and uh, I was waiting for the ink to dry, so I thought I'd do a video. Uh, I'm going to do, I might do some watercolors over it. So, and uh, yeah, so I'm going to have that for sale at a, at a show that I'll be at. And if it doesn't sell, then I will, I'll have it available. You know, anybody can buy it. But, um, so yes, yeah, so I was drawing that and I figured I'd, I'd do a video um you know showcasing another piece uh you know you know y'all can go get these they're really cool uh, it's um it, it's kind of an expensive hobby i guess you could say but uh some of them are pretty you can get pretty affordable ones there's still plenty of really really cool ones um i have three frank miller ones and actually one of the cheapest ones i ever bought was a frank miller uh joker so which is still available but i'll showcase that one eventually too obviously but um i think it's a fun hobby i think it's a cool hobby um, I don't, I don't, I, like I said, I've understand, I understand the people who collect toys, but toys, it's just not my thing. Uh, they're a little more affordable sometimes and, uh, you can really acquire a stockpile and I don't have the room. I don't have room for these. I, I have some of these in boxes still. So, but yeah, this one's really cool. Um, go check it out. Uh, you can usually look at it on Amazon or maybe an offsite, uh, something like that. But, uh, it's a cool one. It's a good one. Go look at see other artists you may like and stuff. Uh, I kind of stick to the popular guys, but I like I like uh, Frank Miller a lot, and I really wanted this one, and I'm happy I got it. So, uh, you know, thank you to my friend for, you know, giving me that gift card. I was able to get it. Uh, she even said, for a statue, because she didn't know which one I would like. Um, this one was a, like 20 or 30 bucks more, I think, than what she had given me, which was very generous. But, yeah, so uh, don't forget, Frog G, uh, Frog G Voodoo Gods and Magic, it is currently back in demand. Well, not back in, it's currently in demand. Uh, so go ahead. Link will be in the description below. Please check it out. Uh, I will be playing the trailer for you at the very end. You know, Pedro by Pedro, 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 Pedro. video trailer by Pedro Ang, voiceovers by Death Metal Hero, and it's uh, it gives you a little synopsis about uh, what what the book's about. So uh, check out the trailer. Thank you once again for watching, and have a great one. We've all read the story. The brave hero conquers the diabolical villain and rescues the damsel in distress. But this is real life, and in real life, stories don't always have happy endings. Frog G, the story of a man turned into a frog by a voodoo priestess.
set on a mission to kill a god by death itself. Now our hero must roam the underworld to regain his humanity and win back the woman he loves. <laughs> Long day kill.